It's Super Bowl weekend and we still haven't had the UFC 300 main event announcement. As a conspiracy theory floating around, we're going to jump into it and see what it's all about. Uh, here we go. Uh, so we're over here on Sport Bible and this is where I first heard about the conspiracy theory and I I've done some research into it and a lot of fans are expecting some kind of announcement at the Super Bowl. So the headline reads, UFC 300 conspiracy theory emerges ahead of Super Bowl that fans are watching out for. Uh, so a conspiracy theory about UFC 300 at main event has emerged and it involves this weekend's Super Bowl 58. Uh, Dana White is yet to announce the main event for UFC 300 with the blockbuster card scheduled for April 13th. Uh, Conor McGregor was linked with a headliner slot until the UFC CEO shut down those rumors as he provided a shock timeline for his return. Uh, so if you don't know, he, he said he, he was doing a podcast interview and he's come out and said that Conor McGregor will be returning in the fall, uh, earliest. That's what they're hoping for. Nothing booked. Conor McGregor is still waiting for the date. He's released, uh, he's, he said some things on social media that he's not happy with the, the timeline and what, what's going on and not getting that booked. Um, so that that's that. That's Conor McGregor sort of ruling himself out, out of that. Um, Brendan Schaub went to down the line of uh, Conor McGregor versus Leon Edwards, but I think that rules out Conor McGregor completely, whether it's Leon Edwards or anyone, he's just not not fighting at UFC 300. Don't think that would happen anyway. It would be a silly decision. UFC 300 is a big event anyway, where they, they're going to sell, sell a lot of tickets for this. Everyone's expecting it's a great card. They're expecting, you know, they're expecting a good card and good fights. Conor McGregor can sell any pay-per-view on just his name alone, so... I don't think they're going to waste that opportunity to, opportunity to put McGregor on an, on another card. Like they can make money just just by having UFC 300 as standalone, and put McGregor on a different card and make a shitload more money. A massive event. So I don't think they would waste that. Uh, UFC middleweight champion Drikas Duplessis, who beat Sean Strickland last month, was also in contention to headline the card. Uh, Drikas has come out and uh, cleared the, that up. He's not. He's not going to be fighting at 300. He's um, he's still undergoing like tests and medicals and things like that. He's just completely ruled it out at this point. The timeline just wouldn't be enough for him to get back into a fight camp to fight at 300. So I don't think that's happening. Uh, so let's move down. A fan on Fight Forum has since come up with a theory about the UFC 300 main event ahead of Super Bowl 58. Um, San Francisco 49ers take on Kansas City Chiefs at the Allegiant Stadium in Las Vegas, Nevada. A theory has emerged claiming the UFC 300 main event will be announced during a Super Bowl commercial. Uh, UFC 300 theory, I believe UFC 300 main event will be officially announced via Super Bowl commercial. It's perfect for the all account for the all it's perfect for all the casual American sports to see, especially if it's McGregor headlining. McGregor's not headlining. That, that, from what they're saying, unless it's just a massive distraction and they, they're just playing around and, and, you know, trying to make it more of a surprise. But I don't, I don't get why Dana would do that. He's not in that kind of business of starting fake rumours. So I can't imagine if he says it's the fall, it's going to be the fall. Um... White has been doing media out of the Super Bowl with the showpiece event taking place in the same city as the UFC headquarters uh, with huge viewing figures expected for the Super Bowl. If the UFC decided to announce the main event for UFC 300 during one of the event's commercials, then it had maximized the fight announcement exposure. And I agree with that. It would be absolutely fucking huge um, when we're talking about the PFL and Ngarnu and I think this would just, you know, absolutely obliterate and put the UFC's stamp on the MMA uh, community, the MMA, the, the sport of MMA as a whole. Um, it would stamp out PFL, Bellator, all the other promotions. None of them are doing Super Bowl commercials. So it's something that I can see the UFC doing. Uh, one, one thing's for sure, UFC 300 won't be headlined by McGregor. Blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm hoping for the fall, we, we get it done in the fall. UFC 300, however, boasts matchups between Justin Gaethje versus Max Holloway, Zhang Wheelie versus uh, Jan Zayoan, uh, and Charles Oliveira versus Armin Sarukian. Um, 
So yeah, in, in my opinion, this would be an absolutely amazing fucking statement from the UFC. I hope they do it. Really praying that they do it because we we need that announcement. And if we've been waiting this long for the announcement, I hope it's a, a fucking spectacle. And fingers crossed, I think we're get, we're going to see we're going to end up seeing it on the the Super Bowl commercial. Maybe I, I don't know one of the quarters or the half time the half time commercials. I can see that happening. I really can. So that's that. Uh, what do you believe in? That do you believe in this conspiracy theory? I think it's uh, it's got some logic to it. It's got some legs, and it's a big weekend. The the card's pretty much done. We're just waiting for that three hundred announcement, the main event three hundred announcement, and then we're good to go. There would be no better way to um, put that announcement out there than during the Super Bowl. I think we're going to see it. We're going to get that announcement this weekend. Super Bowl 58. Let's go 49ers. Subscribe, like, comment. See you in the next one. Here's to the fighters, the fans on the game. Here's to the blood, sweat and tears on the fame. And here's to as and key, you ready to go on the brutally honest MMA show.